la 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 Hey, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it. Um, this is just general. This is from the 15th to the 30th. Y'all wonder why the hell I'm smacking. I had chocolate in my teeth. <laughs> if you're new to the family, all my subscribers, welcome to the family. We cry, we cuss, we pour tea, we enlighten, we uplift, we grow. So, welcome to the family. We trying to connect to our higher selves, baby, and be our greatest, great of the great of the great, like the sunshine. You understand me? So, <laughs> that said, I know Leo's, I'm not going to hold you too much with the long intro. Um, this is just general. If you need a personal reading, all of that information can be found within the description. So, we're going to rock. This is from the 15th to the 30th of June, 2018. And we rocking. This is the fire signs. What's going on with y'all? What's up, Leo gang? Oh, look at stuff falling and stuff. Let me find out y'all uh got <clears throat> three party situations going on. Hold on, let me get my get my little card up, honey. Hold on. Sheesh. Mocha's bloated. Don't don't look at all of that. That's why I'm eating M and M's right now. Oh. Oh. I have M and M's stuck in my teeth. If you know me, y'all know I love M and M's. What flavor? The black pack. Uh, <laughs> I think that's regular. <laughs> okay. The original. What's going on, lines? This is for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and cross watches. Hey, boo, hey. How you doing? <laughs> for Leos. All right. Let's get it. Spirit universe. God, most high God. Please show me. Show me what I need to see for my Leos. From the 15th to the 30th of June. Please, God, show me. Thank you. Show me. Show me. Mm. Show me. Thank you. Mm. Feel right. Show me. Show me. Some of y'all are dealing with a soulmate. Oh. Some of y'all are getting some clarity this month. Truth. Clarity. Some of y'all not gonna like how that truth come. Especially if you're dealing with uh Sagittarius on the earth side. Mm. Be patient, Leos. <laughs> That alpha's coming. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Leos. Mid month of June to the end of June. I do see a lot of y'all are trying to give an offer to someone, or you're going to be receiving an offer, possibly from a Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of y'all are going to be getting some. I feel like this truth is coming either through your dreams or via your intuition. Um, it could also be communication like via social media. It could be something literally that falls in your lap about someone who you're trying to hold on to or who's holding on to you. But I feel like this is y'all holding on to someone, especially if you are already dealing with um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I do see with some of y'all, some of y'all going to be getting some cutting truth or some of y'all are needing to take on the energy of the Queen of Swords. Possibly when it comes to a fire sign, I feel like this is an Aries Leo Sagittarius where y'all don't, they come in and they offer you all of this beautiful shit, but the only thing they really want to do is smash and dash, and I'm just keeping it PG-13 or whatever, but this, you know what it is, we grown. This person literally, and as soon as I said that, I seen 444 four, four flash across the screen, that's for somebody, um, but I do see that this is someone who you actually want to begin with, however, because this person... This is a repetitive cycle with this person, okay? 
I do feel that some of y'all need to handle this person like the queen of swords. Let them know, look, this is what I expect. This is what I want. Are we or are we not? Okay? Because for some of y'all, some of y'all actually have a fire sign that's coming in to deliver a message to you. Or you could be receiving a message regarding a fire sign. And ironic, I, 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 I will say, whatever this message is, Leo, I feel like you were waiting for it for quite some time. This was this message or even receiving this message. I feel like it was a situation that you were holding on to only to only until you got this message. But for some of y'all, it's going to be a message that actually brings you to your new beginning with this fire sign. OK, or again, this could be an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or we could definitely be talking about a fire with this history, fire sign with the situation involves. OK, I do see it's definitely children involved. OK, for some of y'all, this could be a family situation. For some of y'all, this could definitely be your soulmate that you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. I feel like this could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with who possibly have children with the Queen of Swords, with the um, Aquarius. Uh, could be Gemini Libra as well. Gotta get the Queen of Swords as Aquarius, okay? I feel like there, some of y'all could be getting um, DNA results, okay? Uh, regarding children, and it possibly could be between a fire sign and an earth sign, okay? Um, pop, strong, strong emphasis on a Sagittarius and a Taurus, okay? I do see. Well, some of y'all, some of y'all are being patient, okay? And this is for someone who's possibly dealing with a younger fire sign, and this is who I was speaking about with the smash and dash, okay? But some of y'all, some of y'all are being patient with the situation. I feel like this is a Sagittarius as well, but for some of y'all could be an Aries Leo as well. Like it's uh, another Leo like yourself, but I feel like this is somebody who you actually want a family with. You know that this person is your soulmate, okay? You know that you've already, your intuition, you've already seen through dreams, you've already seen, you know, possibly in your third eye, you've already had premonitions about it that, hey, you're my soulmate, you, you and me belong together, okay? However, I do see this person, when they do offer the beginning, it's going to be immature. So you're really going to have to communicate. You're going to have to, some of y'all have been patient from um, mid-month June to the end. I mean, the situation calls for you to be patient, but still communicate effectively, okay? Patience should not deter your communication, okay? For some of y'all, some of y'all are holding on to a situation with someone if you're dealing with Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, Taurus. Taurus. Terror. What the hell? Taurus. Um, but I feel like some of y'all are holding on to, uh, this could also be a soulmate to some of y'all as well. <clears throat> but some of y'all are holding on, and I, again, I had no issues with speaking. Some of y'all not speaking up for yourselves. Um, but that shit's gonna change mid my June to the end, okay? <laughs> but I do see some of y'all holding on to a, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, due to the fact that you have children with this person, so you're being patient with them. Some of y'all, this was after possibly receiving information regarding a very treacherous thing that you did or either they did, but I feel strongly this is the other person's energy. I feel like they did something to betray you, and I feel like you hanging in there literally just for your family's sake, okay? But I feel like some of y'all, y'all intuitively know this, but you waiting on some type of message or clarity, uh, possibly through someone, uh, some form of communication that's coming in. But I do see mid my June, what you want, you want to get it, it's definitely coming. For some of y'all, some of y'all could be wanting a passionate beginning with the cancer. I feel like some of y'all just recently met a cancer or, or will be having a cancer. I mean, will be, um, dealing with the cancer. I feel like if you already know this cancer, Leo, they're going to find out something. I feel like whoever you was holding on to, possibly from your past, especially if you're dealing with another fire sign, I feel like this person is going to come back because you know this is your soulmate. You've been patiently waiting for this person. You're going to break the heart of a cancer. Um, I do see that you low-key been really hanging in there waiting on your soulmate to get that shit together. And ultimately, they're going to come back, but I can't promise you that they're going to have their shit together because they're still not coming back as no king offer. Yes, it's definitely your soulmate because I got the six of cups. I have the ten of, I mean the two of cups and the ten of cups. It's definitely somebody who you know, baby. Okay? It's somebody who you already know. It could also be a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio um, as well too. But I feel like this is more earth and fire. I feel like and if I feel like if you're dealing with water 
if you have a new water sign coming, it's going to be after a period of heartbreak, after some type of deception or some type of message coming regarding either a fire sign or earth sign that you've been patiently waiting for this shit. That's why you've been hanging in there and it has to do with the children and the family dynamic as well. But I feel like whoever comes after this period, for some of y'all, especially if you have children already with the Sagittarius and maybe you're not dealing with the Sagittarius, but you're dealing with the earth sign, okay? This earth sign just literally gave y'all, some of y'all, y'all damn walking papers, gave y'all, y'all free get out of jail free card, okay? Right on to the road of freedom because I do see that you were hanging in there, you know, due to a family situation, but ultimately you got a whole soulmate to get to. So why these people coming with these old page of pinnacle ass offers, okay? Some of y'all are going to be defensive towards the offer, but some of y'all after this ten of swords, you damn should be, especially if it's the same person trying to offer you this shit. Like, you should know better by now, okay? So I do understand, y'all, and I do see why. Let's rock. Clarify it. Spirit. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. I already shuffled. I'm going to shuffle again. Yeah, somebody who possibly walked away from you. I feel like this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe somebody walked away from you in the past. Some of y'all can possibly get uh, messages or some type of clarity, but I feel like you're going to get it in the form of some type of communication. Maybe this person went off or went off in their, in their separation from you. Even if you could be dealing with, a, um, um, I'm seeing all this fire on this sword. And even though it's the Ace of Swords, some of y'all, this communication could be very cutting. Some of y'all not going to like the communication. It could also be coming from an air sign, but I feel like this is word of mouth if it's coming from an air sign or regarding an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like somebody left somebody, and somebody's going to get the clarity. Me, I feel like you're going to get the clarity of what the hell this was. And I feel like for some of y'all, it was involving children. Karmic babies is what I call them. Karmic babies. You got to love them. So that's how most of our indigo and rainbow children get here. Karmic baby. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so some of y'all, for some of y'all, y'all have a brand new start with someone, or possibly a brand new, something brand new, and I feel like it's something pertaining to money. Some of y'all could be getting communication regarding, um, maybe somebody put their stuff on child support. I don't know why I'm keeping their children in child support. So maybe somebody could recently put their stuff on child support. Some of y'all are going to be, um, getting communication regarding that and I feel like if you're not expecting it. But some of y'all, um, I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, okay, this person could possibly I feel like some of y'all dealing with an air sign. If this air, this person could be possibly keeping you around. Literally like they trying to like like shark bait you. Like <clears throat> for my Leos who hold on to an air sign for financial purposes, okay? I feel like this person like holding shit over your head, like dangling, dangling, dangling. And I feel like a lot of y'all finna leave this person behind. And I, I strongly feel like with this Ace of Pentacles fall, falling on the Queen of Swords, as soon as y'all actually come to and realize, oh, this is what you're doing, this how you rocking, not only are some of y'all going to leave, but as soon as you walk out the door, you have a new job or something that the divine sent financial, some type of material gain that will be coming to you, Leo. Congratulations. The narcissist, the manipulative motherfuckers never win. God don't sleep. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify this Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands? Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Yes, the King of Rods. Definitely could be another Leo like yourself. Every Leo Sagittarius. But this person has the potential to be a king. But they come with this damn Knight of They come with the passion. The passion is there. But some of y'all, it's only passion, okay? And this person can actually offer you more if you would just speak up for yourself and say, hey, I don't want to be a booty buddy. I want to be the boo thing, okay? I don't want to feel like nice for what? I want to be booed up today. How about that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Every time I get to telling y'all to speak up, I have issues with speaking. Leos, y'all motherfucking lies. You better look yourself in that mirror and tell yourself you a lying. Get right. What's tea? Please clarify the chariot. Please clarify the chariot. The queen of cups. So definitely y'all, definitely a cancer. 
Okay, some of y'all could actually um, be um, giving y'all a couple of, or some of y'all could actually have a cancer that is trying to love on you or whatever from uh, from the 15th to the 30th of June. Okay, that's just entirely too many. How about that? So we ain't rolling none of them. Let me go back and fill the shuffle again. So I'm going to. Mm. Leo is all, uh, there's a lot of stuff just falling apart. I feel the strong feeling things are just falling apart. Hold together. Hold it right. Push through, baby. Push through. You got this. Push through. Balance. Go hug some trees. <laughs> Mocha be, be hugging trees and shit. I ain't got no shame. Spirit, please clarify the four pinnacles from Leo's high priestess. So some of y'all, some of y'all are definitely going to be trusting your intuition about a situation that you're trying to hold on to. Okay, y'all definitely going to be getting truth. Y'all, like I said, y'all intuitively y'all already know the shit, but now y'all going to get the clarity that y'all looking for. I feel like some of y'all been wishing and praying for this, especially if it's regarding a uh, earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. <clears throat> Spirit, please clarify the Six of Cups from the Leos, the Page of Cups. So yeah, this is definitely regarding. It's around children, okay? And I feel like for some of y'all who this earth sign you're trying to hold on to, especially if they dipped off, or you could have been dealing with an air sign before who dipped off, I feel like some of y'all going to be finding out that somebody dipped off through child support papers coming to y'all house, okay? Whoever this baby M is, they're very spiteful. Here, please clarify the hangman. The hangman, the queen of swords. So, yeah, some of y'all definitely getting some truth, and some of y'all going to cut out a situation with someone. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off possibly a Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be cutting off an earth sign. Some of y'all could be cutting off the air sign. But some of y'all are definitely going to not take nobody's shit from the middle to the 30th of June. Spirit, please clarify the temperance. Yeah, that's definitely a change dynamic coming to a family situation. We got some of y'all being defensive. Some of y'all are, the divine is calling for y'all to be patient, but some of y'all have been patient for so long with this situation that it's starting to become defensive, okay? And it definitely has to do with a family situation because you already intuitively feel change is coming because some of y'all finna just be like, I'm not with the shit. And I'm proud of you, Leo. Your best self. Self-love is the best love. The hangman. Damn, Saggy. Y'all showing up in the building. Some of y'all are waiting on to receive a message regarding your children. Y'all trying to hold on to a family dynamic with the Sagittarius. But I feel like even if this person offers you a beginning, it's, it's coming through as a page, y'all. Okay? And this is definitely a fire sign, airy field Sag, or an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Spirit, please clarify the Ten of Swords. Whatever information that you find out, I feel like, damn, the King of Cups fell on the Ten of Swords. Didn't I tell y'all y'all was going to leave a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Fox, fully a strong emphasis on Cancer. Cancer, y'all are going to destroy this Cancer, y'all. Some of y'all are dealing with the Cancer already. Y'all going to destroy this Cancer for a half ass beginning. And this Cancer came through with the Chariot. They coming through with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups fell on top of it, y'all. This Cancer is... Really a good look for y'all. If y'all finna hold her to cancel feelings for somebody who you have repetitive history of heartbreak and all of that shit due to children, you don't have, just because you have a child with a person does not mean you have to worry about status quo or um, tradition or what everybody else gonna say. Don't worry about everybody else's validations to make you happy. What about you, Leo? For real, for real? Spirit, please clarify the two of cups. Some of y'all is an Aries. <clears throat> this could be this person's sun, moon, rising sign, okay? For some of y'all, some of y'all, for y'all who are fits to, some of y'all finna break a cancer heart for Aries, okay? Now, if it's an Aries that we're talking about, could also be another Leo. The thing I noticed is that they came through as the king, okay? And then they also came through as the emperor. So this is definitely somebody who, can you can follow if you're a lady this is somebody who is definitely your partner this is your counterpart this is somebody who you can build with however in order to have this new beginning because the divine is standing behind it you get what i'm saying but you got to take on that queen of uh, the source energy what i will not accept motherfucker is this but some of y'all this person coming back with a baby okay 
Spirit, please clarify. At the bottom, I was going to ask Spirit to clarify the, uh, the, the the page of Pentacles, right? Before I could even shuffle, I just happened to look at the bottom of the deck, and I definitely got uh, the King of Pentacles. So some of y'all, this page, y'all, this person could actually come at y'all with the King shit if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially one that you have children with, because they go to Six of Cups again. I feel like y'all definitely, this Queen of Swords came out twice too. Y'all definitely need to take on the Queen of Swords energy and speak up for yourself. Not partially, not around their feelings, no, but around truth, validity, and how you feel, okay? How you feel. Some of y'all being defensive, but that defensiveness energy needs to go into speaking up for yourself. Not from an angry place, but from a place of compassion, love, and acceptance. Meaning, I'm accepting if you do or if you don't. I will be okay. Okay? Some of y'all have been separated from this person to show yourselves that you will be okay. You are lovable. And you got some of y'all got a cancer that y'all going to really break their heart. And some of y'all going to find out through this. If y'all dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius who don't want to commit, some of y'all going to find out that y'all walking away from this cancer who literally was y'all soulmate. That was y'all two of cups. That was what y'all was praying for. Okay? And for some of y'all who do that, when this Aries Leo Sash come in and just hit it and quit it, or they do not accept your offer because they don't want, they 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 not ready to put down their clear card. This is how y'all gonna be. Y'all gonna be defensive and guess what? Fall right back into that three party shit because I told you so. Okay? That's why I said I told you so simply because I'm telling you, you walking away. From a counterpart, a king and a queen. This this water sign, this, especially if it's a cancer, they were sent to answer your prayers. But some of y'all like drama. And I do see it. Don't tell me no, Mocha, that's not no. Because I see the shit. I'm confident in what I see. And I hear what I hear to know that y'all going back to drama. You ain't learned shit yet. So, some of y'all are going to jump off the hamster wheel. Some people are going to continue to go through the hamster wheel and just know that Mother Karma is making her sweep. So if this person left somebody else to come and join you in a three-party situation, that whole leaving was their own karma. So if you're welcoming in the karma, no problem, okay? But don't be defensive when that karma gets there because you signed up for this. Now, if you need this is not pertaining to you, again, this is a general. But if you need a personal reading, hit me up. I am not fully booked and I'm very available. All right, and it's funny as I said that I had two, 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 two on my damn screen. Definitely calling for balance, Leo's. Okay, three of cups, the sun that fell on the three of cups. So it's time to renew your energy and choose to walk out of this three party shit. Okay, especially if you're being defensive. So we're saying, okay, I walked away from my blessing. Ah, I'm just okay. We can do this again, even though we did it six times before. No, we have kids together. It's okay. That's crazy. That's insanity, man. Y'all my babies, but y'all know I'm going to get you together when I see bullshit, okay? I love y'all. We family, so we here. I ain't never judging, because judging ain't my thing. I'm not even a girl. But what I will say is, you can do better than just accepting what you know is not 100% for you. Don't accept 45% when you can have a thousand. The fuck? Your people can't find a night of ones. Why are they going to be defensive? Oh, because they need balance now. Well, don't be defensive. Bring balance to the situation. And you know how the balance start? The balance start when you first trust in your intuition. You holding on to it, but once the divine give you what you're praying for, please let me know. Just please let me catch it. Just please let me see it. You're going through phones and shit. You're going to find what you're looking for, but what you're going to do? You're going to sit in this energy and be defensive and shit and still deal with the shit? Or you're going to cut that ass up. Stop playing with me. What you going to do? Love you. It's at the bottom now. The page of pentacles again. As soon as you love you, you gonna get off That person, this might be the same motherfucker who uh could they, they get off the hamster wheel. This could be for my cross watcher. This could be for my Leos. But I strong I'm ninety eight percent sure I'm talking to my Leos. Choose more for yourself. Okay? And speak up for yourself. Ladies or men, 
if I can't, <clears throat> if you think it's okay to only accept sex from a person, what are you learning? What really, truly, what, what, how, would, how can this person, how is this person helping you grow? These are the questions I want to ask, and I want you to ask for yourself. How is this person helping me grow? How is this person influencing my life? How is it that I can evolve and I can change and this person can be around me and stay the same? Why is it that I love this person so much? Is it because of the D? Or is it because they truly, truly, truly into me? Love is not lies. True love is forgiveness. It's okay to forgive a person. But it's also more than okay to get clarity from a person to know is this your lifestyle? I mean, like this is this is what you want to keep doing, you know, or do you want change? Did you learn from this? It's about asking all the questions, the right questions, the right way. Y'all, my sister fire sign, so I got to be very specific with y'all. Asking the right questions the right way, meaning that, because <laughs> you know I'm Aries. We, again, y'all, my sister fire signs. We rock out, so that's it. It's not asking um when the last time you seen Keisha. It's asking when you seen Keisha last Thursday, oh yeah, motherfucker, I look. When you seen Keisha last Thursday, what happened? Did you go to the house? And what happened at the house? Oh, so that's what y'all did? Okay. All right, so did you love me enough to use protection? You didn't. So it might be a baby coming. Are you tired of this shit? Because I'm tired of this shit. How are we going to move forward? Because I deserve more than this shit. Those are the conversations that need to be had. Not no sugar coated bullshit like, are you cheating on me? Are you, are you? We ain't even, we fire, baby. We ain't even built for that. We ain't built for that. Go look it up. You ain't built for that. You fix, you bring the beauty to things. And if a person don't want to accept your beauty, my, do not, my G. If they don't want to accept your beauty, it ain't your job to try to force them or hold on to some shit that ain't worth being killed. You understand? You a queen or a king. You understand me? What the fuck do you look like dealing with some paid shit? Really? Really? I love y'all. I want to see y'all grow. I want to see y'all glow. I want to see you win. But the first step is you need balance, baby. Especially if you've just been angry all the damn time. You changing with the moon cycles and shit like I was telling counseling. You changing with the moon. Deep breaths are powerful. A lot of things have been going on with everybody. People are losing their homes. People are being erupted put out. People are having people in the hospital sick and all kind of stuff. My auntie's in the ICU. I got that phone call early this morning from my daddy. So I'm trying to upload all of the videos that I can. Um, Cause I'm, I mean, I'm this type of person. Y'all know I hug trees and shit. So I stay grounded. You know, nothing really moves me and shakes me too much. You know, if it's not like a direct hit having to do with like my stability or something like that, you know, I'm really not affected with that. Plus, y'all know I don't come to YouTube with fucked up energy. I don't really do that. I don't really come nobody. You know, my energy is crazy. I don't really come out my damn room. Okay? Or from up under my covers. I'm antisocial when I want to be. Okay? So, um, this is really about balance. You know, taking days for yourself. Stop doing everything for everybody else. I know you're loyal lions. Okay? But it's just taking a day to yourself. Take a day for reflection so that you can piece the words together. Especially if you've been in a defensive state. Take a day you know, and go lean on a tree. Trees are older than we are. They bring wisdom. They're the only thing that sits under all the wisdom of Mother Moon and get all the energy from the sun all day. And they're deeply rooted. I Meaning that no matter how much you move, shake, bend, they ain't, they ain't going no damn where. And there's so much wisdom from the roots. That's where we come from. We are that of natural elements. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, 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 you have never meditated on a tree, lean your back up against a tree, put your feet, put your toes in that dirt, 
And just really talk to God. And really ask God what it is that you need to do. And you'd be surprised. Some of the things that come to you that you see. That you feel in your heart. And you'll just know. The words that need to be said. And how to deliver them. Because you'll be in more of a balanced place. of Coming from doing it. Don't move in a place from a place of fear. And don't move too impulsive either. Because some of y'all could be walking right away from your blessing. Okay. I love y'all babies. And I would have went live. <clears throat> but I'm trying to kill two birds in one stone. So I'm thinking I'm going to go live on a Virgo while I actually upload the Leo video. Um, but it be a lot of y'all. So when y'all come, Leo is like one of my deep signs. So when y'all come in my damn stream, get the slowing all down. I'll be like, okay, so YouTube bootleg. I got this old ass computer. And I look. <laughs> I ain't rich yet. I'm still manifesting that. I'm, but you heard me say it. I, I I live life like a rich woman. I tell myself that every day. Sometimes it's too hot in Texas to wear my mink or whatever. But, you know, we rocking. So, <laughs> what not? But I love y'all babies and I really want to see you in. From the 15th to the 30th of June, if you love yourself, I promise if you love it, you just trust your intuition and just stand up for yourself. And you, some of y'all, a lot of y'all going to see the changes of things and the dynamic. And you're going to be like, damn, why ain't been did this? Mm. Balance. Your life call for balance. So get that balance. Speak the truth. Love yourself. And let that petty shit, let that, let, let, let that pay shit go. Queen King, you the motherfucking lion. Who run shit? Who run shit? Okay. You. I love y'all. That's what I have for y'all for the 15th to the 30th of June. If you need a personal again, hit me up. And it's been real. Deuces, familia.